Long before European contact, a powerful city rose along the Mississippi River Cahokia, the largest urban center in pre-Columbian North America. At its peak around 1050 to 1300 CE, tens of thousands lived beneath towering earthen mounds. But one of Cahokia's most astonishing achievements wasn't built of stone or earth, it was built of wood. Archaeologists call them the Cahokia Woodhenges, massive circular arrangements of towering cedar posts, carefully positioned to track the rising sun. On the solstices and equinoxes, sunlight aligns perfectly with key mounds, including the enormous Monk's Mound, revealing a sophisticated understanding of astronomy. These wooden circles likely served as ceremonial calendars, helping priests determine sacred dates, agricultural cycles, and ritual timing. But Woodhenge may have been more than a timekeeping tool. It was a symbol of cosmic order, connecting the heavens, the land, and Cahokia's ruling elite. Often compared to Stonehenge, the Woodhenges challenged the outdated myth that ancient North American societies lacked advanced science or urban planning. Cahokia was a true metropolis, and its astronomical knowledge rivals that of the ancient world. Why was Woodhenge rebuilt multiple times? And how did Cahokia's leaders use the sky to reinforce power and belief? Subscribe to Imperium Eternal for more ancient mysteries, lost cities, and the hidden knowledge of civilizations erased by time.